Hey everyone, this is Jason at Grand Slam Sports Cards and Comics, and welcome back to another week in preview. Sorry I haven't been around, I've just been such a busy, busy fellow. Uh, sometimes I get these videos in, sometimes I can't. I just try to get them out when I can, give you a little taste of what's going on at the shop. Uh, so without further ado, let's talk about some comics. Let's take a look at some sweet, sweet comics. Uh, so, DC Rebirth, they're still just rolling them out. All new number ones. So here's four new number ones this week for everybody to kind of feast your eyes upon. Uh, this is Red Hood and the Outlaws. Uh, this one is basically, it's, you know, kind of a, you know, it's a villainous book. Obviously, Suicide Squad's really popular. So this is kind of one of those books where you get to watch things about the Red Hood and keep up with him. This is a book from the New 52. Still continues to go on in the Rebirth era. Uh, so we'll see how that one goes. Uh, this one here is Deathstroke. This is, De this is uh, Rebirth Deathstroke. Uh, so this will kind of be like an origin beginning type thing for him. Uh, everybody loves Deathstroke. He's one of the more popular characters. His book sells uh, somewhat well for me. Uh, so if you're looking for an old dude that likes to just you know murder people and be cooler than Deadpool, like a little more hardcore than Deadpool, he doesn't you know have the jokes as much, get Deathstroke. Check that one out. Uh, this one is one of the new, new books. Uh, this is Superwoman. Uh, yeah, and this has actually got art and uh, written by Phil Jimenez, and he's awesome. I've met him actually at the Denver Comic Con before. He's a really cool guy. It's cool to see that he's getting his own book. Uh, this one is about Lois Lane is Superwoman, and she's working with uh, Lana Lang to kind of like help her with her powers. Now, uh, it's just jam-packed with art and writing, and it's actually, it looks like a really solid comic book. I would definitely check this one out uh, just to see what's going on. Why Lois Lane has superpowers, I don't know, uh, but that's kind of the, they're trying to at least do something new, so this is the kind of the, it's like the whole rebirth thing, they're going to kind of go back to the classics, but then they're bringing in like new Superman and Superwoman, and there's going to be new stuff coming your way, so I think that's really cool, so it's good to see them doing that. Last but not least is the Pista de Resistance, Pista de Resistance, I don't know, can't even say it, it's like a key thing, that I, I just got to Google it. Uh, this is uh, All-Star Batman. This is Scott Snyder and John Romita Jr. doing Batman. Uh, this book, I flipped through it. looks like Batman Two-Face type of story. Uh, looks really solid. Definitely want to check it out. I mean, Scott Snyder wrote the last 52 issues of Batman, or 51. I don't think he wrote issue 52. But he wrote a lot of Batman books recently that are just heralded, people love. So definitely want to check out All-Star Batman. This is going to fly off the shelves everywhere in the country. Um... It's coming to an end, Darth Vader issue 25. Uh, this cover, this book, I actually read this one already. It's actually a really quick read. There isn't really a lot going on in here, but man, what a really, it's a really good book. Uh, Darth Vader is still easily one of the best comic books coming out today. I don't know why it's ending. It's a shame, I guess. My guess is Kieran Gellin's just, he's finished his story. Uh, so definitely check this issue out. That's Darth Vader. That's Padme. And he's turning his back on her. Revisiting. You know, the old, the old wounds, the old love. Uh, we got The Accused, Civil War II. Um, really cool cover by David Mack. Uh, what's going on here is, uh, this is tied in, if you've been following Civil War II, there's a trial that happened uh, where Hawkeye got in trouble for doing some thing to some other guy. I don't really want to, you know, spoiler alert it, but um, this is just kind of like a supplementary story. And it looks like it's a Daredevil story, and I'm big on Daredevil, so I wanted to point this out. It's all you Daredevil fans, but it's him kind of doing some lawyering stuff uh, in reference to Hawkeye. So definitely check that one out. Uh, I just I get so excited when I see love story love story covers on the X Men because this is like it's soap opera stuff. This is why we read the X Men. Uh, so this is good stuff. Uh, this is about Angel. It's about Laura. Uh, they are they're they're going back and forth uh, with their romance. So definitely check this one out. Yeah, she's been he's been worried about her because she's been like really violent and he's got some problems too. So anyways, check out all new X Men if you haven't been getting it. Uh, Mark Bagley, I think the writer is hopeless. Dennis hopeless. Good stuff. You know, all new X Men's a lot of fun. Uh, once again, I I just love showing off Alex Ross covers because you got to get them. Uh, this is before Dead No More, which is a big story about I think a lot of villains coming back. But uh, yeah, you know, as usual, Spider Man. People love Spider-Man books, so definitely want to get in on that. New Spider-Man book out this week. These last two are image titles. Uh, one's from last week, one's from this week. Uh, so last week is Kill or Be Killed. Uh, this is Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. If you've never read anything by them, where have you been for the last 10 years? Uh, he, They have written some of the best noir-style comic, noir comic books. 
over the last decade. That includes Criminal, Incognito, Fatal, The Fade Out, which just won an Eisner this year, and now we have Killer Be Killed, uh, which looks to be another really, really cool book. I haven't read it yet, but as usual, the art looks great. The story looks great. Definitely check out Killer Be Killed. Last but not least is my main man, Jonathan Hickman, The Black Monday Murders. Um, the Black, yeah, I, it's, it's like seven, the comic book, I think. I, I'm, I'm flipping through it. I haven't read it yet. First off, it's packed. It's four ninety nine, probably 50 pages of comic art. Lots of writing in here. Um, Jonathan Hickman's kind of been AWOL since that whole thing where he like destroyed the Marvel Universe for a while. And uh, he took a break from writing. So this is the Black Monday Murder. So you definitely want to check this one out if you like Jonathan Hickman, if you like Rated R, Mature Readers, kind of those thriller, horror movie type things. Definitely check this one out. I'm really excited about it. So uh, that's it for comics this week. Uh, there's always stuff coming out. DC's releasing comics twice a month, uh, you know, every once in a while. So, uh, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Uh, Marvel's got some big plans coming up in October. So until then, I'm Jason from Grand Slam. I'm 1730 West Eisenhower. You can stop by and see me. And uh, I'd love to talk about comics. So until next time, have a good one.